Hello everybody, welcome back to school. My hand says hello, my hand says hello. Every time I see my friends, my hand says hello. Hola. My hand says hola, my hand says hola. Every time I see my friends, my hand says hola. Salam alaikum. My hand says salam alaikum. My hand says salam alaikum. Every time I see my friends, my hand says salam alaikum. And ni hao. My hand says ni hao. My hand says ni hao. Every time I see my friends, my hand says ni hao. Konnichiwa. My hand says konnichiwa. My hand says konnichiwa. Every time I see my friends, my hand says konnichiwa. Salam. My hand says salam. My hand says salam. Every time I see my friends, my hand says salam. And sin chow. My hand says sin chow. My hand says sin chow. Every time I see my friends, my hand says sin chow. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to school today. We're going to find out what day today is. So we have our calendar and it is still O-C-T-O-B-E-R, October. And let's see what day of October it is. Let's count and see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And we just had a weekend. So on Saturday, it was 24. I'll make a two and a four. And then yesterday, Sunday was 25, so I need to make a 2 and a 5 for 25. So what do you think today is? What comes after 25? That's right, 26. So I'm going to make a 2 and a 6 for 26. So today is Monday, October 26. Can you say that with me? Today is Monday, October 26. That's right, that is today. And have our calendar so we can do our ABC song together. Are you ready? Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Let's do the sounds for the letters that we've learned. A makes the sound for a, 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 apple. B makes the sound b, b, b for bear. C makes the sound k, k, k for cat. And D says d, d, d for dog. And E says a. For elephant. And here is our letter of the week. Do you know what that's called? It looks like E, but it doesn't have the line on the bottom. F. And F makes the sound for f, 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 fish. See the little fish in the fishbowl? F is for f, 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 fish. Good job. 
All right, well today I have kind of a fun book to read about a creature that isn't exactly an insect. It's a little different from an insect, but sometimes we call it a bug. Have you ever seen these? Spiders. That's right. I have a book called Super Spiders, and we are going to learn about spiders today. So let's find out. That one's kind of an interesting spider, isn't it? I see like yellow stripes and lots of black. There are many different kinds of spiders. Oh, I think I need my reading glasses. Spiders are creepy. Spiders are crawly. They are also very cool. Spiders have been around for a long time. They were even alive in the time of the dinosaurs. And spiders belong to an animal group called arachnids. So they're not insects like ladybugs or ants or flies. They're arachnids. We'll find out a little bit more about them. Spiders have two body parts. So they have two parts. Insects have one, two, three body parts. So that's an ant, which is an insect because it has one, two, three body parts. But spiders just have two. Spiders are not insects. Their bodies have two parts and insect bodies have three parts. Here is another difference. Insects have six legs, but spiders have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. So spiders have more legs than insects. They actually have eight. Most spiders have four pairs of eyes and a pair is two of something. So if spiders have four pairs, that means they have eight eyes. So they have eight legs and eight eyes. And add that up and you get eight eyes. Even so, spiders don't see very well with all their eyes. So they have two eyes on the side, one, two, two big ones here, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight little eyes on the bottom. But they still can't see well. That's kind of funny. Spiders don't have noses or ears. They smell through little holes in their legs. So they smell with their eight legs because they have little holes there instead of having a nose on their head. And spiders also use tiny hairs on their legs to hear and taste too. So they have holes on their legs for smelling and they have hairs on their legs for tasting and hearing. They really use their legs, don't they? And they also use their legs to crawl around, I think. What else makes spiders special? They make silk. Silk is super strong. Many spiders use it to spin webs. So the spider, it's a big ball of silk and that's how they spin their webs, they use that. And they can actually make it with their bodies. A lot of spiders use their sticky webs to catch flies and moths. Sometimes they wrap the bugs in silk to snack on later. A spider can eat 2,000 bugs in a year. Wow. So there is a spider that just caught an insect in its web and it's wrapping it all up with silk so that later on it can eat it, saving it for later. Kind of like sometimes we save food, we wrap it up in plastic wrap or something to save for later. There are about 50,000 kinds of spiders in the world. Most spiders are small, but a few are very big. This one is the size of a dinner plate. Wow. So that's as big as a plate that you would eat your dinner on. The Goliath spider is so big that it can eat a bird. It's called a Goliath and it actually can eat birds. Wow. Some spiders are bright colors. That allows them to crawl on flowers to hide. 
Can you spot the crab spider on this yellow flower? So there is a yellow spider hiding on this yellow flower. Do you see it? Let me bring the book closer. There it is. There's the body, its head and its eyes and its legs. See that yellow spider? It's kind of cool, but from a distance you can't see it. So that's a really good way to hide on that flower. Some spiders take care of their babies. This mother wolf spider carries them on her back. Do you see all those tiny baby spiders? This is the mama spider, and she's carrying all those baby spiders on her back. I see her eyes, two of them anyhow. Wow. Some spiders can jump very far. You might even find this kind of spider in your own backyard. Take a look. There's a jumping spider. Sometimes I see them in my house. They kind of jump. They'll be on the window ledge and they hop or jump. And that's the end of our book about spiders. Well, wow, we learned about some pretty cool spiders in that book. I think they are very, very interesting. And today, we are going to make spiders. So I took some black paper, and I think you probably have black paper in your school supply kit. And what I did, you might need a little help with this, but I drew a circle on the black paper, and I cut it out. I cut out one kind of big circle, and then I made another circle that's a little smaller, and I cut that out. And I am going to glue these two circles together because we learned that spiders have two body parts. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on my small circle, and then I'm going to stick it right on my big circle like that. So it looks a little bit like a spider, doesn't it? But we're not done yet because our spider also needs legs. Do you remember how many legs a spider has? That's right, eight legs. So I cut eight strips of black paper to be my spider legs. And I'm going to glue them on my spider. So I'm gonna put some glue on my spider's body. I'll put glue on one side first, and then I'm going to put the legs on. And you can count them with me. So there's one leg, and two legs. And three legs, and one more for this side, this side of spider's body. Four legs, one, two, three, four. But we're not done yet because spiders have how many? Eight legs, that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. All right, so I'm going to put some glue on the other side of my spider body, and I'm going to put more legs on that side. So you can count with me. All right, so so far we have one, two, three, four legs, and this one makes, what comes after four? Five, that's right. And this makes six. And this makes seven. And I think I have some glue up here for my last leg. And this makes eight legs. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight legs on my spider. 
And remember, we found out that spiders also have eight eyes. And if you have a piece of white chalk or maybe a black crayon in your, or not a black crayon, a white crayon, because I think white, white or yellow, I think will show up best on our black spider. I don't really have um, any white or yellow crayons, so I'm not going to do that right now. But if you have a white or yellow crayon at home, you can draw eight eyes on your spider too. And I would love to see what your spiders look like. So if you make a spider this week, make sure you bring it to our Zoom meeting so we can see what your spider looks like. And this week in your school supply pack, you should have um, capital letter F. So that's the letter that we're going to practice writing this week. So you can take your markers and draw a straight line down and then a short line across the top and a short line across the middle, but don't put one on the bottom because then it would be letter E. So F has a straight line down and a short line across the top and a short line across the middle. So you can practice tracing letter F and make your own letter Fs on the bottom. And if you wanna show those to me at our Zoom meeting, I would love to see those as well. So have fun making spiders and I will see everybody next time. Goodbye.